Hey guys, it's me, Siren, back with another video. Today is our 23rd hidden figure, and that is Miriam Matthews, born August 6th, 1905, and died June 23rd, 2003. She was an American librarian, advocate for intellectual freedom, a historian, and an art collector, and she was the first black American librarian in the Los Angeles public library system. Hired in 1927, she was instrumental in preserving the history and cultural heritage of early black Angelinos. Matthews was born in Pensacola, Florida in 1905, the second of three children born to Fanny and Reuben Matthews. Her family moved to Los Angeles when she was two years old, where her parents established a painting business. Matthews graduated high school in 1922 and spent two years at UCLA. She subsequently transferred to UC Berkeley, where she earned her bachelor's degree in 1926 and a certificate in librarianship in 1927. After returning to Los Angeles, Matthews sought employment as a librarian in the Los Angeles Public Library. Although she was misinformed, likely due to her race, about the date of the required civil services examination, she learned the correct date and passed the test. She was hired as a substitute librarian and then, three months later, promoted to full-time librarian at LAPL's Robert Louis Stevenson Branch Library. When she realized how few resources the library system held on Black history, Matthews began collecting materials on the subject, which she shared with other librarians, researchers, and users. While working at the Helen Hunt Jackson branch, Matthews discovered a small collection of books on the Negro and began building that into a substantial research collection, documenting the contributions made by Black Americans to California's history and culture. Matthews rose to the position of branch librarian within 10 years and then took a leave of absence to earn a master's degree in library science from the University of Chicago Graduate Library School in 1945. After she returned to Los Angeles once more, she was promoted to regional librarian, the first black American in this position, and supervising 12 branch libraries in the South Central region. In the 1940s, Matthews was an early opponent of censorship in libraries. The California Library Association, or CLA, formed a committee on intellectual freedom to safeguard the rights of library users to freedom of inquiry in 1941. In response to a legislative body called the Fact-Finding Committee on Un-American Activities, the body examined and sought to ban work by the likes of Langston Hughes and other authors considered subversive, and also wanted to ban all facts rendering the people of the state less fit, physically, mentally, morally, economically, or socially. Matthews wrote an article detailing CLA's work fighting censorship for the American Library Association's Library Journal, in which she argued that, if successful, the legislative efforts would prohibit instruction in controversial subjects. Early CRT, anyone. <laughs> From 1946 to 1948, she served as chair of the Committee for Intellectual Freedom, and as both member and chair of the committee, Matthews participated in a successful effort to prevent the establishment of a board of censors in the Los Angeles County Public Library. As part of her commitment to honor black American contributions to history and culture, Matthews was an early supporter of Carter G. Woodson in his efforts to establish a Negro History Week, now known as Black American History Month, lobbying the city of Los Angeles until Negro History Week was recognized there in 1929. An essay written by Matthews for the California African American Museum was used in support of efforts to rename a Manhattan Beach neighborhood Bruce's Beach in honor of the Black American family that established a resort called Bruce's Lodge in that location in 1912 and that had their land seized under eminent domain. And just so you guys know, that land was only recently returned to that family in 2021. She also published a 1944 paper on The Negro in California, an annotated bibliography. When Los Angeles celebrated its centennial in 1981, she was appointed to the Los Angeles Bicentennial Committee's history team. She helped to document the city's origins, installing a monument at El Pueblo de Los Angeles State Historic Park, revealing that the founders of Los Angeles called Los Pobladores were multiracial. The founding families included 26 blacks, 16 natives, and two whites. Matthews also amassed a collection of approximately 
4,600 black and white photographs documenting the black American experience in Los Angeles, in Los Angeles, excuse me, in California, including scenes depicting the founding of the city. The Miriam Matthews photograph collection consists of documentation of the arrival of middle-class black Americans in Los Angeles between 1890 and 1915, as well as the churches and other organizations they formed during this period and through the 1980s. It chronicles life, politics, community service, entertainers, artists, Black-owned businesses, and the civil rights movement in Los Angeles in the 1960s. For her role in community preservation, Matthews has been called the Dean of Los Angeles Black History. Many of her photographs and documents are on display at both the Los Angeles Public Library and the African American Museum and Library in Oakland. After more than three decades of employment, she retired from the Los Angeles Public Library in 1960. After she retired from LAPL, Matthews also became well known for her collection of works by black artists and has loaned art from her private collections to institutions such as the Los Angeles County Museum of Nat Natural History and the Long Beach Art Museum. She was an active member of the Los Angeles Negro Art Association, and in 1977, she was appointed to the California Heritage Preservation Commission, where she led efforts to identify important black institutions. During retirement, Matthews dedicated herself to numerous groups promoting libraries and black history. In 1979, she played a key role in the establishment of a black archive program for the city of LA. In 1982, Matthews was awarded the first annual Titus Alexander Award in recognition of her work documenting the history and achievements of black Americans in California. That same year, she was the only Southern Californian to be awarded an Award of Merit from the California Historical Society, recognizing her distinguished career at the Los Angeles Public Library. Because of her work, she also received numerous awards from Los Angeles City Council and a 1984 United States House of Representatives Award. The Los Angeles Historical Society also established an annual Miriam Matthews Award in recognition of her. In 1996, she moved to Mercer Island, Washington to be near her nephew. She died at Mercer Island on June 23, 2003, at the age of 97. In 2004, the Hyde Park Branch Library was renamed after her. And in 2012, she was one of the 10 inaugural inductees to the California Library Hall of Fame. And for a quote, I greatly appreciate having learned early in life to stand on my own two feet, to form my own opinions, to stick by my principles, and to speak up for what I thought was right. And that is Miriam Matthews, a hidden figure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. There will be links and information in the description box. Food for thought as always. See you guys next time with another hidden figure. Peace.